My fellow Singaporeans, good morning. I woke up this morning to many messages in my WhatsApp and the commonality of them all was they showed a TikTok video of Jameis Lim speaking in Parliament in April this year on the Silver Support Scheme and asking why that scheme was so restricted. And of course, he was suggesting that more support be given for our elderly, which I think is a very laudable purpose, right? After all, as a decent society, we should always be looking after and protecting the vulnerable. But you know, I was absolutely shocked when after Jameis spoke, the Speaker of Parliament, Tan Chuan Jin, who is a PAP CEC member, yeah, a former Brigadier General, I believe, yeah, was heard muttering into a hot mic the words effing populist. Let me repeat the word again effing populist. Well, I'm not saying it as bad as, you know, it, it, it should sound, all right? I am trying to uh, dilute the effect so that you don't get shocked. But, you know, and I see that a few minutes ago, he has made a Facebook post apologizing for it. But my friends, this is not acceptable. I have always said that Tan Chuan Jin is not fit to be the Speaker of Parliament. He does not know how to do his job. All right? And let us not pretend to keep this veneer going on. A Speaker of Parliament must be someone who is totally impartial. Tell me, if you are a PAP CEC member, does human nature allow you to be absolutely impartial? We have all seen videos of how the other speakers in the Commonwealth countries, such as the House of Commons, Lindsay Hoyle, and the Australian Speaker of Parliament, how they conduct business in the House, how they are incredibly fair, if I may use that word. All right, they take the ministers to task if they do not answer questions. All right, if they go and give outside interviews before they, they inform the house of an important decision. Do you ever see Tan Chuan Jin berate a PAP MP? But he does that very often to the opposition, doesn't he? And I think today's video just proves conclusively that he cannot claim to be impartial. He may have apologized, but that is not enough, my friends, because I want to know which lousy school taught him to utter those words. Not only are they un parliamentary language, they are disgusting language, especially coming from a speaker of the house. If Indrani Raja has any credibility as the leader of the house, she would immediately call for a committee of privileges to investigate this matter. This is not simply, oh, I'm sorry, Jameis, forgive me. All right? No, this is coming from the Speaker of the House. To me, this is such a grave offense it merits expulsion. And if Tan Chan Jin has any decency, he will resign immediately as the Speaker of the House. Because we can't have a person like him be the ultimate symbol of Parliament. All right? We don't want to be led by someone who can call a fellow member of Parliament an effing populist. So on behalf of the People's Voice and behalf of the Alliance, 
that people's voice has formed with three other parties. I'm asking for the immediate resignation of Tan Chuan Jin. I'm asking for Indrani Raja to call for the Committee of Privileges. Thank you very much.